Good evening, Miss Brooks. Surprised to see you? Well, I... Won't you come in? Ordinarily, I would, but I've only got a minute. Oh, uh, by accident, I walked off with your package this morning. Thank you. It's just a few handkerchiefs I was sending to my aunt. Oh, uh, incidentally, for taking up all of your time, uh, here's a little trinket I ran across. That uh, you bought for the spinster. Well, uh, can we give it to your mother? That's very sweet of you. Uh, wouldn't you like to give it to her yourself? Well, if you insist, but I can only stay a second. Mother, this is Mr. O'Rourke. It uh, seems he has a present for you. A present for me? How do you do, young man? How do you do? What? How nice. Won't you sit down? Oh, thank you. Oh. Oh, it's beautiful. How many men would think of such a thoughtful present as this sewing basket? Well, thank you very much. You know, my friends consider me quite old-fashioned. Mr. O'Rourke is in the horse racing business, aren't you? Well, to some extent, but only as a hobby. My chief interest right now is life insurance. Seeing the horses race must be so exciting. You know, every once in a while, Barbara can hear the crowds yelling way over at the school. Well, it is exciting to some people. Tell me, uh, when you're at the track, do you ever bet? Well, some of the men do. But that comes pretty close to gambling, Mrs. Brooks. My big thrill is trying to win the first prize. I hope you won't be shocked, but Barbara and I almost went to the races once. Mother will never stop talking about the time she came so close to being wicked. Well, I wouldn't consider that wicked. It's a sport of kings. Good, clean competition. Oh, but I was going to bet. Oh, uh, I have a horse going Friday. You have? Where is he going? Uh, well, he isn't going. He's running Friday. Say. How would you two like to come and be my guests? You mean go to the... Oh, oh, I'm afraid we couldn't. You see, it would mean leaving the house alone, and there's no one to look after the cat. Nonsense, Mother. It would do us both good to get out of the house for a day. On behalf of the Brooks family, I accept your wonderful offer. There you are. It's all settled. We've got a date. Uh-oh, I'm sorry. I'll have to withdraw my invitation. I haven't a horse running Friday. Why not? Well, I... Just remember that my jockey got in trouble at school today, and uh, he's not eligible to ride. At school? Oh, that can be straightened out. Why, Barbara here is... Well, I thought so, too, at 11 o'clock, but now I'm not so sure. Well, I'm confident that the matter can be straightened out. You have Timothy Kate back in school in the morning. Oh, well, that's fine. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm probably keeping you people up. You know, it's 9.30. Oh, that's nothing. Sometimes we're up until 10.00. Well, you probably think I'm an old stick in the mud, but we horsemen like to be in it at a respectable hour. I'll get your hat for you. Thank you. And thank you so much for my beautiful present. Whenever you're in the neighborhood, just drop in any time. Uh, Good night, Mr. O'Rourke. Good night, Mother. Well, thank you very much. What time, Friday? Friday? Yes. What time will you pick us up for the races? Oh, the races. Well, uh, shall we say one o'clock? One o'clock. All right. Good night. Good night. <laughs> 